drumming for me, ever since I started drumming, has just really, it's always been a place where I can go and just kind of escape everything. The world kind of melts away and I can just really just be in the zone and just focus on that thing and just, just enjoy being there. When I think back to my life before Christ, if I had to describe it in one word, um, probably temporal would be the word, or short. You know, when I think back to some of the crazy stuff that I've done, uh, I'm really lucky to even be alive. I met my wife, Autumn. Um, well, actually we went to high school together, but we didn't really know each other that well at high school. Uh, we ran with different crowds. We first started dating. We partied all the time, and uh, we just loved to go out and go to bars go to concerts, and um, we did everything backwards. Um, we got an apartment together, and uh, we even bought a house. We waited about three years to get married after meeting. Through my late teens and early 20s, I played in a whole bunch of bands, uh, heavy metal bands, cover bands, um, and we played bars all over um, Cleveland, Akron, you know, we'd, we'd go and play a show or open up for a bigger act that was coming to town and then we all just go back to the hotel room and pretty much just get smashed. And that's what we like to do um, pretty much every weekend. In my late 20s, um, I think I was just really starting to come to the end of myself. And um, it was like the party was over. Um, I partied till it wasn't fun anymore. And. Um, you know, I was kind of searching. I was searching for something. I remember a lot of times uh, just being out back of my house, out on the porch, um, after a night of just partying, like just drinking the last beer of the night, smoking the last cigarette, just looking up at the sky and thinking to myself, you know, that there's got to be more to life than this thing. And uh, my mother and father-in-law, they were visiting a, a small church, and uh, they invited us to come for the the Christmas service and uh, so we went and um, I remember sitting there because it seemed like the pastor was preaching straight to me the whole time and I'm sitting there thinking my father-in-law must have told this pastor all about me um, for like an hour this guy was just preaching and just just preaching right at me and uh, at the end of that thing he gave an invitation and uh, he, he led a prayer uh, and I prayed along with that thing and uh, I trusted Jesus that day and uh, I mean it changed my life completely almost right away. After getting saved I started going uh, to that church on Sundays. There were so many things that I just associated with my old life um, that I felt like just needed to go. Um, so I actually, I gave up playing drums. Um, I thought that's what the Lord wanted me to do that at that time in my life. Um, so I didn't play for probably four or five years. I read the Bible cover to cover seven times in seven years. And it was like, I had this little fire in me, right? And every time I would read the Bible, it was just like dumping gasoline on that fire. And then um, when we first started coming to Grace, um, I loved the worship music. Um, I was just really excited about what was going on there, but I wasn't sure if the Lord wanted me to be a part of it. Because of that uncertainty, uh, my prayer to the Lord was, I said, Lord, I'm, just, I'm not going to pursue this thing uh, about playing in the worship band or playing drums again. Um, but if you ever want me to be up there, you work that thing out and, uh, and I'll do it and I'll serve you that way. Man, the Lord worked the whole thing out and put me back behind the drum kit. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing that we have a God. He would give us talents and then He would let us turn around and worship Him with those talents. It's pretty amazing. Jesus has changed my life and my family's life uh, because it's, it's made me a better husband. Um, it's made me a better father um, and leader of our family. It's made me a better and more honest businessman. The Bible says that Jesus 
was the creator of the world, but he wants a relationship with me. There's like billions of us down here, and, and he wants a relationship with me. And um, the Bible said he, he never changes. He's never gonna change his mind about me. I'm in.